Hi, in this lesson we're going to get back to our Wii Scheme game and look at player animation. So you should be logged into Wii Scheme and also bring up the lesson notes for algebra, latest version. Let's look briefly at what we looked at last time which was piecewise functions. We remember from algebra class that piecewise functions um, are still functions, so they still pass the vertical line test, but they're not smooth. They may have a, an abrupt jump or bend in them. Um, and we learned how to make decisions with this cond um, keyword so that we could um, Put in different, we used a, a cost function or an order function. We could put in a string, and depending on what string we, we, we put in, we could get a different price out. Let's see if con, yep, so here's cond. Remember, it has as many different conditions as we want. It's going to take a boolean, some kind of Boolean function so that as long as what comes out of this function has to be a Boolean, true or false. If it's true, we get the we get the result here. In this case, it's a number, and the first one that's true, that's what come that's the whole value of the cond. If it falls through all the way, and we always get false, 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 false. Then, if we want to, we can use an else, um, and that will give us a different definition. So that's what we learned about really important uh, cond uh, function that um, lets us make decisions based on booleans. So now let's see how we're going to use that in player animation. So open your game and find update danger and update target. So I'm going to open my game. You can pause now if you want to so that you can open your game. And I always like to just run it first to see if I can remember where things were going. That's why it's always good to uh, make your last state a running version of your program if you can. Otherwise, actually leave myself notes. That, and a lot of times, it, it notes that not even in comments, I'll be like, start here. So it's an error. So I can see really quickly um, what I meant to, uh, to, to, to start with. But let's run. So I have a blank background. My player is a rectangle. My, let's see, I don't remember my danger is the yellow triangle. Target is the circle. I'll run that again. So target is the circle. Uh, danger is the triangle. I've got a clear background, just an empty scene. Um, I was having network trouble, so um, I took out my, my images I had for those. Okay. What controlled the speed of these characters? Well, I do remember I had danger speed. So I defined a, a, a danger speed um, constant, negative 10. And then I don't think I had a um, target speed. Let's see. Control F. Target speed. No, I don't have a target speed, but so it must have some kind of default built in. All right. And what control the direction of these characters? And if you remember. If you played with this, then um, it's going to be the sign of whatever speed we're doing. So if we, if we follow this danger, update danger is saying add to whatever my current x coordinate is, danger speed. Well, since this is negative, it's actually subtracting, all right? So we're going to keep adding negative 10, adding negative 10, adding negative 10. So Let's run that again. So where's my yellow triangle? And every time they see these little jerks, add negative 10, add negative 10, add. So it's making little negative 10 jumps across there. 
let's now make it go to the right. So now we're going to add 10, add 10, add 10. And it goes to the right, right? Add 10, add 10, add 10. Good. So the sign of our speed is what gives us the direction. Okay, find definition for update player. Update player. So let's look at the contract. It takes in a number and a string, gives back a number. Okay, given the player's y coordinate, okay, so that's going to be how up and down, right? And a direction. So that must be the string. The string must be a direction. Output the next y. And it looks like they named this direction a key. So let's use the design recipe to write update player. So let's look at this page called word problem update player. So pause if you need to and find this word problem update player sheet. That's what we're going to work through together. I won't make you do it on your own. You have more fun stuff to do on your own. So let's, um, as I go through my game, uh, work on doing update player. The player moves up and down by 20 pixels at a time. Write a function called update player, which takes the player's Y coordinate and the name of the key pressed up or down and returns a new Y coordinate. So I'm going to do it here. And they already named this key, so that's good. And I'm going to say direction. I mean, we're using the same term. Up could be the direction. Up could also be the, the arrow key on my keyboard. So I'm going to say key because I might want to do something other than that. All right, given a Y coordinate and a key, I'll put the next Y. Okay, so let's think about some examples. If I uh, see, so open update player, and if I am in the middle of the screen. So uh, y goes from 0 to 480. So let's say somewhere in the middle of that 200. Let's say 200. So if I'm at 200 and I press up, then what does it return? My new coordinate. Okay. And it said. 20 pixels each time. So 20 plus 200 is 220. Okay, and if I said example update player 200 down, then that should give me the next Y, which would be 180. Right? So let's save that. I'm going to run it. I expect that to fail because right now, when I put in 200 and up, I'm going to get 200 because that's what I said. I'm just going to give back what I said, but I'll be able to check the syntax and those kinds of things. So I expect it to fail. My player does not move. I'm going to press up and down. Of course, it doesn't move. And got 200, expected 220, got 200, expected 180. Good. That's what we expect to happen. Okay. So now I'm going to need one of these cons, right? Ah, good. And it gave us these little brackets. The only thing we know that make little brackets is cond. And a great place to look for that, what that looks like, was in that um, Alice's restaurant code. It's always fine to go back to things that you know about. Open that. It just opens in a new tab. And I can remember. Cond, open, open, open. I'm not going to copy it. I'm just going to look at it. 
Okay, so cond, and I'm going to have a bunch of these, or maybe. Okay, go back and look. And yeah, so then we have a Boolean and the output. Okay, so I'm going to have my Boolean and some output and my boolean and some output a boolean and I remember I can do else that's fine all right so what booleans do we want to use well I want to say I only know one check function and it's the same one they used over here right string equals huh so I can just use that over here string equals huh and what do I want to check well the way they used it was they had my literal string oh no they had the thing that was coming in and then against the literal string so the thing that was coming in is my key key right here right so I'm gonna say key and I'm gonna check it against up and then I'm gonna do string equals key check it against down all right and if up is pressed then I want to add 20 to y so how do I do an add well I know how to do add I do a function plus y 20 all right and if it's down that's not spelled right we'll go back and look and see what happens if that was misspelled. All right, I know how to do subtractions. I do minus y 20. Uh, else, we can have no else, but else we can just say, hey, my next y is, uh, nobody's pressing anything I care about, so let's just give back whatever I got in. All right, so let's save that. And I think it would uh, do syntax check there, so nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to run. All right, I don't have any errors, so that's good. Now I'm going to press the up, 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 down, 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 down. So every cycle through this, if I'm not pressing anything, it's just giving me back my Y, so wherever I started, that's where I'm stopping. If I press up, 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 then it's adding 20 every time. If I press down, 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 subtracting 20. So I think that's what they ask us to do. Now I did want to look and see if I misspelled this like that, what would it do? Well, one thing, okay, my down example failed. Good. And if I press up, 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 that still works, but I press down, 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 that does not work. So. That's what happens if we get it wrong. Make sure to save that. Okay, that's my update player. What does each part of the domain and range represent? All right, and we looked at all of this as we were going through, right? Each part, the, the, the domain for this function, we didn't call it that, let's call it that. The domain for this function was a number that represents the um, current y of the player and a string that represents a key that has been pressed the range is the new y for the player so how is it similar to piecewise functions well it does different things um, depending on a decision what if we wanted to use the W key to make the player go up instead of the arrow key? Instead. Well, let's try that. Well, I'm just going to guess that when W is pressed, which one should we put in? Uh, up. So in, instead of up, I'm going to do W. I'm not going to change my test right now. But assuming that the W key comes in as that string W, let's run it. So I'm going to press up, up, up. Nothing happens. Up arrow. Now I'm going to press W. Now W makes it go up. 
my test fails, which I expected because I'm no longer getting up. So I'm going to change that back to up. But we could make these any keys that we wanted to use. Uh, what should happen if you hit a key that you don't have a condition for? Um, so, so we put in an else that gave back a Y, but let's take that out and see what happens. I'm just going to cut that. That's still a valid function. I'm going to run. Up, up, up still works. Down, down, down still works. And that's it. Okay, so it looks like there is no change to Y. So it does uh, a default that seems to be reasonable, which looks like the same thing as else Y. We could have it drift up slowly if we wanted to, right? We could do something weird like plus Y1. Let's see what that does. So I'm not going to press anything. And it's slowly drifting up. Let's do it a little faster so we can see it. Let's do Y5. So as I don't press anything, so that I'm pressing up and down. I put it on the bottom. No, nothing, nothing happens. It looks like if I'm not pressing anything, it looks like it's not sending anything, which is fine. So that's why it works with we have else or not else. So, so it's not confusing. I'm just going to take that out to know that we don't do anything if it's else. So how would it be used? Well, oh, a, a different key. Okay, so it's not, I'm going to undo that. But let's say a different key. So, um, okay, I'm going to leave it Y plus 5. I'm going to run that again. Up, 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 does that. Down, 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 does that. Now I'm going to hit um, X. X is actually moving it up a little bit. And I'm going to hit uh, P. Every, no matter what else I hit, other than down, uh, makes it go up. So that's the way else is being used. So probably that should not do that. So I'm going to say else is going to be Y. And I'm going to run that. So now I'm hitting other keys other than up and down. And it's not moving because I'm getting the same Y back. Okay, good. The second thing in the domain is a string that represents the key pressed. Some players like to use W for up and S for down. So what if we wanted to give them either? We changed it so that we could give, um, uh, you know, we, could, we actually changed it. But what if we wanted to do both? Well, we know a function that can do OR for Booleans, right? So I know that OR... And I have one condition and another condition. So if you've seen this trick, I'm going to, my Boolean over here, I'm going to select it. I'm just going to type a left paren. And it's smart enough to put parens around that. So now I can say or. Well, here's one condition. Now I'm going to copy this condition. Just paste it in. So now I have two conditions. I give a little more room here. Does that make sense? So here is one condition is up pressed. Here's another condition is up pressed. We wanted to change this to what did they say? W for up. So I'm going to change this to W. All right, now I'm going to copy this whole OR side, paste it in here, but we got to remember to change the down part. All right, so we want down here and S here. So does that make sense? We know with the OR condition, if we get either UP or W, then this is going to be true. This whole OR is going to be true. And then we're going to get plus 20. So let's run that. So no errors. All right, now I'm going to try my UP. And my down, that's good, that's working correctly. Now I'm going to try W and S. That's working correctly. All right, so that's how we would do either one of these. And you know what? We need 
two more examples. We need to do W and S. We could leave them there. I mean, those, those should work the same. Or we could change to different values if we wanted to here, but let's run. And we got a failure right there. Ah, because that's not X, right? That's an S. Because what happened? Let's look and see what happened with X. X, this was not true. X, this was not true. So else was done here. And that means we got, a, when we put in a 200, we got a 200 because we were in the else condition. And instead, we want S. Try it again. That ran fine. WWW, S, 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 S. Down, 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 up, up, up. Works great. Let's save that. So now we just customized it, right? We, we, we were able to put some alternatives in. So now we can do cheat codes, which may be something that we're not going to put in our documentation like up and down, but we could do something else. So here is what you uh, can do. And we have a page for challenges. So page 52, and it gives you some examples of things you can do like warp. So we could make a key that instead of moving up or down a little bit, always gives back the center of the screen, which is what, um, for the Y coordinate, 480 divided by 2 is 240. So it always does 240. Or you can make it always 0 or always whatever you want. Um, uh, you could change it so that we can't go off the screen. Let's see what happens now if I keep pressing up. So I'm going to go up, 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 up. Yeah, right? And I can disappear off the top, and I can go down, disappear off the bottom, because we don't have any checking. If you remember, you could do uh, checking just like you did on Sam the Butterfly and prevent me from going up. So you put a check in here of, like, if I'm off the screen to the top, you could write some helper functions. Um, if I'm off the screen to the top, then give me back something else, right, like the top of the screen. Or work wrapping. So you could say, if I'm off the screen at the top, then turn me to zero, right? So I would go up, 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 oops, run, I'll go up, 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 and then as soon as I come, uh, uh, disappear there, right, you just like we did with the sand butterfly, as soon as I disappear, then you make me reappear, make your player reappear, at the bottom, right, which is just y coordinate zero. So you could wrap that way, um, or you could hide, right? We could make you could make a, a function like z. You could say when they hit z, I'm going to make him disappear, make my, my character disappear. And all you know, you don't necessarily have to make it your change your image to be any disappearing. Just Move the coordinate off the screen. It's a really common game function is you do stuff to your images off the screen so that nobody sees it. And then when it's ready to go, you put it back. So I know that like say um, 500 is off the screen. So let's do that one really quick. Let's say um, I'm going to make a new function this up here that's going to take in um, actually doesn't matter what it takes in right have we done any functions that doesn't matter uh, we could say we could say it takes in a number gives back a number given players Y coordinate. Oh, let's see. No, we need to know if you are uh, currently disappeared or not disappeared, right? So if you're currently disappeared, 
then we want to put you back in the middle of the screen. Uh, if you're not disappeared, then we want to put you uh, off the screen. The player's Y coordinate um, output a Y coordinate on or off the screen. So let's make that make more sense with some examples. And disappear is not a good thing because sometimes this function is going to make me reappear. Um, so what should I call it? Disappear, reappear. Let's just call it magic. All right, and let's see. When I run magic uh, for 200, that is on the screen. So then I want my Y coordinate to be 500 off the screen. And if I say example magic 500, which is off the screen, I want to be on the screen. And let's make it to the middle of the screen, which is 480 divided by 240. All right, I'm going to run that, and it should fail. Magic's not defined. Good. Uh, let's see. I put this in the wrong place. Let's do that and do that. And let's make our own section for magic, and let's do it here. Okay. I need to define magic and let's see this is going to be a y coordinate so I could just name that variable y all right what do I want it to do well I want to um, make a decision right and I said on or off whenever I have anything that makes a decision I know I need to use cond and how many decisions do I need to make well I only need to do Two things. It's either on or off. So I need um, one decision, another decision. Okay. And what am I checking? I'm checking. Well, first of all, let's say on. All right. And we know from um, we could make on the top or on the bottom, just like we made uh, safe left and safe right. Should we do that real quick? We could do safe top and safe bottom, or we can just make a, a compound, now that you know about compound Booleans. So, or, let's see, on. What does on the screen with Y means? On the screen Y means two things, that Y is greater than the bottom of the screen. So greater than Y, zero. We don't know what Y is. Let's say, let's just make a Y. Uh, 50. So it's on the screen. Or we could say y has to be less than 480. Oops. Y 480. Okay. And actually, I've been saying or, but it's and, right? We need to and these two things together. Okay. So now we know what we need to do. We need to say and, and these two things have to be true. What two things? This thing and this thing. Both of these have to be true for me to be on the screen. And I could write another function that says on screen for both of these, or safe top and safe bottom, right? 
because this is safe bottom, this is safe top, and this whole thing is on screen top or bottom. Okay, so if I am on the screen, then I want to give 500. All right, and if I am off the screen, I only have another thing, so I can just do else. And what do I want to give back? I wanted to give back 240. So first, let's see if that runs. All right, I'm not going to press anything yet. All right, I'm not pressing anything. My tests passed. Uh, but am I using that anywhere? Oh, I'm not using magic anywhere. Okay, good. But my test passed. That's all I wanted to see. Now, let's give another condition here. What are we going to make our magic key? How about Z? So, uh, so string equal question equal question key Z. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to call magic Y. Magic. Why? So here's a Boolean, right? If so, uh, I'm not pressing up. I'm not pressing down. I am pressing Z. So when I press Z, I want magic Y to happen. Magic Y is going to make a decision. So I need some examples. Update player. And if I'm at 500 and I press Z, then I should be at 4, no, at 240. Okay. And update player. And let's do something else if I'm at. Uh, 100 and I press Z I should get 500 so first before we press any buttons let's see if this test if these tests pass run I'm not pressing anything and all my tests pass that is a good hint that this is gonna work all right so I will tell you when I'm pressing I'm gonna hit run I press up 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 down 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 www S, 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 Z. All right. I did jump up to 500 right there at the top, so I didn't quite disappear. All right. Now I'm going to press Z again. I did jump back. I'm going to hit it again. I jumped up, and I'm going to go up, 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 up. Hit Z again. Good. That worked. So I... Um, Jump back to the middle. What happens if I go off the screen to the bottom? So I'm off. I'm going to hit Z again. And I did. So Z does make me appear. It looks like 500 is not quite the right place to be. Let's see. I want... So my disappearing part. Let's make it 550. I don't think I need to change anything else. Let's try that. All right, I did get some tests that failed. Click on that. Ah, okay, right. So that's 550 now. And let's look at this test. And also that's going to be 550. So here's an example where I should put my disappeared location um, into a variable name, into a, a constant name, and then I wouldn't have to change those places, right? Run. My test passed. I'm going to go down, down, down. I'm going to hit Z. Now I did disappear. Z again. I'm back. Z again. Let's disappear off the bottom. Back. So that would be an example of um, a challenge where we disappeared. You can use that one. Uh, you can um, also 
warp, which would be to take you someplace else on the screen. Um, so they give you, or you could wrap, um, which could make it, you know, give the illusion that you're going uh, off the top and coming back on the bottom. So add some of those functions to your game so that as we progress in your game, um, your game gets more fun to play. And um, so, yep, that's your, your homework for this time is to just add some kind of cool cheat code to your game. First, get your player moving up and down with the up key and the down key, and then add some new thing um, that your player can do um, other than up and down.